Brother Dr. Rizzi Muhammad. Scholars now, their own scholars. 
But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad told us a long time ago that didn't happen. Mm. Okay? Mm. What did happen is that the white people were in the caves for 2,000 years in Europe and encaged by us locking them in there, not letting them come amongst us, mm -hmm. and then they went savage. Right. Yeah. And then we sent a brother named Musa, I have original, to teach them, mm -hmm. and teach them some of the forgotten technology. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that later on. They were made to trick us. Right. Right. <coughs> right. Just wait a minute now. Right. I mean, Mr. Farrakhan, in his last lecture, set a series of lectures where he's talking about Satan and God and they're in the first creation. I'm not going to get into that. It's just too deep to get into that today, but he's dropping it piece by piece on us for us to understand the faking and the process of the development of the first creator. Mm. Now, you know, Mr. Farrakhan also has taught us that the most important thing to know about in life is to know God. Because you want to know what's going on. That's right. You know, boom, I'm here. So, okay, that's my mom. That's what they tell me. That's my dad. You don't know. You got to believe it because somebody told you that, right? Because you came <laughs> in the world. You don't know. So you want to know that's your mom and that's your daddy. Okay. All right. But then you want to know, okay, where, where, where they come from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, they, 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 they had a mom and a daddy. Okay, well, where they come from? This is what with children get on your nerve out of the wire, right? Because <laughs> they, they just want to know where they come from. Well, you know, how long has that been? Oh, I don't know. Now, the child is, 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 is lost, you know? Now, in our, in our traditional societies, when we were, before we were brought over here, we had, we had these stories. You know, some of the stories have proven to be not completely correct, but at least it gave us some type of understanding of what the hell was going on. All right? And now Mr. Farrakhan has come to give us a clear understanding of the mindset and thinking of the creator by which we were all created from. Mm -hmm. Our Father, who art in heaven. Right. Okay? So that we can understand who God is, who we are, and what are we supposed to do to get back to the position that we once had. Right. But you got to know what position that was. I know my, my, me and my wife are talking. We, we talk a lot, we argue a lot uh, <laughs> over these uh, theological and historical and uh, different things, you know what I mean, perspectives. And she helps me out a, a lot. I say that in public. Uh, she helps me out a lot. And, and, and try to help. You know, we get, we get to, 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 to debating on these very, very, you know, important things because we try to figure out how to get to our people and try to figure out, you know, why is it that they're not moving. Why is it they, they try to go down to Florida? <laughs> I went all the way to Cordell to, to take care of my customers. And when I was there, I went to 75 just to go over the bridge and, and look at the people <coughs> running from Irma, the white folks running from her. Uh, I just love to see white folks run from God. I just, <laughs> somebody said, a friend of mine said, you shouldn't have said that unless they ain't the show. That was a little bit too hard. Cold. I said, I'm sorry. I, I, I love to see white folks run from God. They got us scared of them. They got us scared of them. So I like to see them scared. Okay? But they, they, they running from a force that I like the hurricanes for this. I don't like tornadoes. Tornadoes creep up on me. All that you know, you hear a talk of something like a train, then you gotta realize I ain't in, I ain't in no tracks. <laughs> then you gotta realize, because I've been I have been hit by one, like farm, you know, back in 1996. So you hear that noise, and me and brother Kill was in the in the, in the house, and we said, <coughs> we said some explicatives, you know what I mean? <laughs> we said, oh, explicative. <laughs> and he jumped underneath the bed. I jumped into to, to, to the bathtub, okay? And then it hit. Boom! And when it was over, uh, the house was open. Mm. It was raining in the house, okay? And it knocked it off of its murders. Mm. And it pulled those things and hold it in the ground, and it pulled it out. But if it hit this twice, it would have thrown us in the field, 
but it didn't hit twice, it just hit one time. Mm -hmm. Now, that's some scary stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hurricanes at least give you a warning. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're talking about Irma for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. That's right. Before Irma hit. Mm -hmm. So these people ain't paying attention? Right. For right. two weeks? Did this storm 180, 180 miles per hour? Wind? You know, and, 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 and what that mean? Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> when you're driving, it's 85 miles, 75 miles an hour. Stick your head out the window. <laughs> <That's> 75. <laughs> okay? Now, 100 more on top of that. Do you still want to go down there and party? Come on. Okay? Huh? That's how you got to talk to our people because they have no, they have no grounding in reality. Come on. See, right. the nation of Islam gives you grounding in reality. Right. Come on. <laughs> The God who created the heavens and the earth is real, and it's a real world. So you should be able to understand religion from a realistic point of view, and not something that takes you out in the spookism. Mm -hmm. Right. The first chapter in the message of the black man is, who is that mystery God? Mm -hmm. Now that's a that's an interesting to start off with. Mm -hmm. Who is that mystery God? It's to start mm -hmm. off with the book Message to the Black Man in America. Mm -hmm. He went right. He went right to it. He said, Messi don't mess around. He said, I know what the problem is. You have a complete misunderstanding of God. That's right. That's, the, that's it. That's the problem. That's the problem. And about everything else everything builds off of that. That's right. That's right. Um, I heard, uh, uh, put on my, my Facebook page, this brother with an argument with a uh, commentator about Colin Kaepernick. So for, for Fox 26 somewhere. I put on my Facebook page. And he was saying that what Colin Kaepernick was doing, and his brother was backing, and Michael Bennett was backing, uh, and Mark Arthur Lynch, Mark Marshall Lynch was backing, was hate. <laughs> and the brother said, no, they are trying to stop hate. Right. You all produce the hate. Right. Young black man, this is in his 30s, late 30s, real, built, must have been a former player or weightlifter. Intelligent. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and then they would say, well, uh, see, y'all got to be more like Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. See, he taught us to get along because and, 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 he, he follows Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ said to love everybody. And the brother said, now look, man, you didn't have to bring up Jesus Christ. <laughs> he said, but Jesus mm -hmm. is the example of the most perfect human being that ever lived. But he was black. <laughs> I mean, but he was black. And so that cracker, well, 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 you know, uh, uh, that don't matter. Color don't matter. He said, why y'all making white then? If color don't matter. Why are you making white? And right there in Revelations, he's black. That's right. I mean, you, you know, it's on my Facebook page. I mean, the brother was smooth, man. <laughs> now, when I get confronted with white folks to confront me like that, I've had that before about Jesus Christ. I said, you know, he was black. Now, I give white folks and black folks, I give them an opportunity. When they start asking me questions, I give them an opportunity to back off of that. I said, now, are you sure you want to continue this conversation? <laughs> I give you a chance. And you said, no, you know, so I said, cool. I don't care, you black or white, green, yellow. You said, no, I said, cool. But they said, no, I don't want to talk about it. I said, okay, let's go. Now, Jesus Christ, Jesus was black, okay? But the Bible don't talk about him being black. The Bible talk about when he come back. Revelation is talking about the Son of Man when he come back with the sword in his hand. That's the one that's black. <laughs> that's the one that's talked about in the Bible, Revelations, that's black. That had that, 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 that hair like lamb's wool, right. feet like burnished bronze, right. huh, and eyes red Come on. from fire. So he's going to burn your behind up. He's angry. That's the one you got to worry about. We can fuss about Jesus in the past because we don't have no pictures. Matter of fact, the Almighty Muhammad teaches us. Come on. Jesus had a gospel. We don't have a G the gospel of Jesus. <coughs> New Testament, right. gospel of Matthew, Mark, Mark right. Luke, John, 
You got a bunch of stuff here about Paul. Okay? Right. You will have the book of Jesus. Mm. All the Quran calls it the Injil. Mm -hmm. You don't have it. But he wrote it. Jesus wrote it. We don't have it. See, that's what we did it with here. We did it with a liar. Mm. Mm. Now, what's the mindset of somebody who would lie on God? Mm. Mm. I mean, that's, we, 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 you know, we're just talking. Okay. <clears throat> if you know that you got a revelation from God, and you know it was from God, would you change it? Would you change it? Would you change it? Black folk wouldn't do that. Change. I know what God showed me. We go down to the cross. We, we go to the fire and die behind that. If we know that was God, if we know that was God, I don't care what you said. God showed me. I seen that. And now with these so-called Jews, they actually took it and switched it up. And this is why we say in the, in the, in the, in the, in the final call newspaper, <laughs> Muhammad speaks. It ain't like we keep nothing a secret. It ain't like our people don't know because they they, they didn't seen this. They've looked at it. They've read it. What the Muslims believe? We believe in the truth of the Bible, but we believe that it has been tampered with and must be reinterpreted so that mankind will not be snared by the falsehoods that have been added to it. Again, what is the mindset of a human being? who would take the word of God and add something to it from himself and make you believe that it's the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the word about it? Satanic. Not, not just satanic. Satan. Satanic mind, but ain't nothing else but a human being oh, with a set mindset. We talk about Satan himself, and that's who the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan is revealing. And Mr. Farrakhan got in this battle with them when trying to get into battle with them. He was trying to hit my brother Jesse Jackson for not being killed when he ran for president in 1984, and then the Jews jumped him. Mm -hmm. And then those who love the minister start studying mm -hmm. those Jews. See, why did they jump the minister? Mm -hmm. Why did they hate him? I thought they was our friends. They're the mm -hmm. ones who support the civil, the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones who supported integration. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, integration was a trip. Mm -hmm. Integration, Absolutely. it took away everything we, we had garnered during segregation. We gave it all up for the hope of integrating with people who hated us, and the Jews who knew that these people hated us, knew they was gonna cause problems. We had we we had, had we had, had what they called they talked. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Between the whites and the blacks. I know most of North Carolina where I was at. You know, the blacks stayed on one side of town, the whites stayed on the other. We had our own uh, uh, bus company. We had our own hospitals, our own mm -hmm. schools. Mm -hmm. uh, when we went downtown, the white folks shopped in one area, black folks shopped in the other. There was a white folks movie, and there was black folks movie. Mm -hmm. You know, we went to work for now, we don't cut their grass. We cut their grass, we get their money, we go home, we didn't go in their house, mm -hmm. we didn't party with them, we didn't even talk to them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. We just went to cut the grass, and got the money, went back to our community, and that's the way we lived. We had our own little restaurants, we call them Greasy spoons, you know what I mean? But they were ours. Mm -hmm. okay. We had our own contractors who were building the houses for black folks and for white folks. Oh, by the way, the house that you see all in Southwest Georgia, these mansions, mm -hmm. old mansions, black folks built it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, how could a savage build something like that? Come on now. Okay? See, these people have been playing us, man. I just hate them. <laughs> no, nah, why do you hate them? Because not only did they do dirt, they lied. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mama. They said Africa was a wild, stupid beast. My mom. See, you, when you talk, see, when you talk about a black person, mama. <laughs> you know that, that, that's you don't do that in dozens. You play in the dozens. Mm -hmm. You don't do that. But when you start talking about somebody, mama, everybody, everybody know. <laughs> oh, expletive. <laughs> Okay. So I look at Africa as my mom. That's right. Okay? And so you go talk about her the way y'all do and lie about her and what she produced. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Stole her, stole what she produced, used her, killed what she produced after you used it, and now you're gonna lie about where you got what you got. That's right. No, 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 no. 
you know, I'm sorry, Mr. Farrakhan, he loves black folks, you know what I mean? Um, I love black folks, but I don't love black folks way far from love black folks. But I hate enough white folk that I can make up for my not having enough love for black folk. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Uh, it works for me. <laughs> okay. But let me get into the next one. Uh, brother, uh, let's go. Thank y'all for bearing with, bearing with me. I get this out of the way. Yeah. You know, I hope y'all get something out of this lecture. But as you see, I'm having fun. I have more fun giving the lecture than you all have um, of seeing it. Let me see, I got some modern technology here. Do I have that clicker back there, brother? No, here it is. Here's the clicker. Oh, uh, wow. I gotta move this forward a little bit. I gotta move this forward because I, I can't see the board. idea. Um, I was going to teach because um, Brother um, Aaron had invited me to come to speak this weekend, like three weeks ago. And I, I, my first title was um, um, The Secret War Against Minister Farrakhan mm -hmm. and Muhammad Farm. Maybe in the future I will do that next year. But then Irma came up. Mm -hmm. And so me watching, and what I like about the hurricanes as well, people ignore God until something so big that happens to just blow their minds, and then they start talking about God and biblical, right? You know, biblical proportions, right? You know what I mean? And, and the hurricanes stay in the news long enough for people to get good conversations going about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. And that, uh, that, that's why I decided, because I've been, I've been watching hurricanes. You'll see I've been watching hurricanes for a long time because something, or something Mr. Farrakhan said in 2004. But I'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay. Now, this is some of the devastation from Irma, uh, the British Virgin Islands. Oh, God. Okay? And this is some of the devastation from falling white folk. <laughs> <laughs> this is <a> tragic. <laughs> this is this is the tragedy right here. Okay. Uh, All right. I can show you even worse pictures. You know, kissing and everything. Man. I, 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 I can't. I can't. I couldn't do that to y'all. I can't stand it. So this is enough. Y'all. Y'all. Y'all see this. All right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> men marrying men, and here go black folk falling. Women yeah. married women. Come on, now, here. the sister on the on, over here. You know, why she gotta have on a suit and tie and pants? Is she a woman just be a dress? Or if she can why do they still have to have a difference between the male and the female yeah. and they they both female? They crazy. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> it gotta be crazy. Why she gotta dress up and look like a man if, if she ain't a man? But why you gotta dress up like you gotta have a role, you gotta have a male, you gotta have a male and a female. You gotta have it. Somebody gotta play that role. Right, right. That's right. All they wanna do now is find women to play the role of a woman. And we want the man to play the role of a man. That's all we want. That's all true. But they be playing. See, they know that ain't right. They're crazy. They weren't born crazy like that either. Oh, I was no no no. That, they'll have a suit and a bow tie on top of that. Yo, you, you is crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Don't put that on God. Your mama know your daddy. He's stone crazy. Mm -hmm. So that's the devastation. Daniel 12, 11. Mm -hmm. The abomination that causes desolation. Mm -hmm. Now, if everybody went this route here, what would happen after a while? No life. Die off. Desolation. Mm -hmm. That's the abomination that causes desolation. That's right. No more human beings. And this is what white folks is leading us into because that's what they've been into. Listen, the only reason why white folks ever, listen to very carefully, can I even say it? I done read this stuff, read, read it from their own self by the Greeks. The Greek, y'all know what Greek is. Mm -hmm. Greek love, y'all know what it is. 
I'm going to talk about it today. <laughs> but the Greeks only went into women to have babies, but what they really preferred, like um, uh, Plato said, that there's no love like a, a man for his boy. There is no greater love than a love than a man for his boy. Okay, that's the mentorship. Okay, that's where it comes from. But it went deeper than where we had after we had a mentorship too. But you were trained you to be a man, man, and not a faggot. That's right. Not a punk. You didn't have to bend over for me to teach you. That's right. Okay. Right. But that's where it is in this world. And what happens with many of our athletes and our movie stars. I just found this out. I didn't know this. Somebody told me this. I didn't know this. <laughs> that what they did with our, a lot of our entertainers mm -hmm. is they drugged them mm -hmm. and then had sex with them, mm -hmm. men on top of men, took pictures of that. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then used that against right. them right. so that they could never be used for our own purposes. Wow. They also had in your contract that you could not. Tell people that you was married. If you was a man, you was married to a woman. If you was a woman, you was married to a man. You couldn't tell that if you was a singer. Because they wanted to keep the, out there that you may be available. Right. Singing them love songs. Same. So they had to hide that you were in a heterosexual, long-term relationship because that would mess with the brand that they're trying to produce use you to make money. Mm -hmm. So here you got all these women lusting after these brothers. Okay? And the brothers taking advantage of it too. But you're destroying the whole purpose of love. Mm -hmm. Family reproduction. The development and long sustain, sustaining of a civilization. Mm -hmm. But that was part of the contract. Mm -hmm. See, we did it with Satan. That's why Mr. Farrakhan kind of said we got to take back our human resources. Mm -hmm. That's right. Our, our, our goal, our entertainers, our football players, that's our resources. That's, right. that's a lot of money in that should be utilized for our community. But they're trapped behind these Jews who control their finances, uh, their management, and their finances. The accounting, the legal thing controlled by these Jews. Man. Now, I put this up on my Facebook page. I didn't leave it that long because nobody even commented. I never thought I took it down because it's just cold blooded. I guess it's just too cold blooded. If you don't, if you don't know this, is the end of America. Here's for eight years you had this right here, the top one. Mm -hmm. Civilization. Come on now, I mean there's some pretty people. Yes, sir. I mean look, look, look at the yellow now. She's growing. Listen, look, look, look at look, look at them cheeks, man. Look, look like a mom. Look at it. Come on now. Now, right. Look at this down here. Come on, come on now, come on now. <laughs> and they knew they was, they knew they was being kind of the first, but they knew they was being my face. She even tried to direct. Look at the expression on his face. And they, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they look like cavies. They look, right. they look like cavies who are trying to act like civilized. That's right. That's okay. That's right. Huh? That's right. Look at that. It's just not in them. Look at that. I mean, come on now. Look at it. And the women, she's the only one to smile like she may be happy. Look at that. She ain't happy. She ain't happy. <laughs> <laughs> she was not happy. <laughs> I mean, your father's a billionaire, man. Come on. You be president. Mm. Oh, come on now. You can't fake a smile? <laughs> you know what I mean? But look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. They had civilization for, for eight years, and now they got, they got <laughs> It's tragic, and we continue to follow them. But I love them, Trump and family. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I love them. I can use this for the point. Because for black folks who still want to believe that there's some hope in the integration in America, he, he, he sells it, baby. That's right. I mean, he almost a red devil. He orange. He is. <laughs> He's close. Yeah. He's close. <laughs> Oh, praise be to Allah. I can love this. I can. I love laughing this man all day long. <laughs> Let's go ahead. On. Store closings, 2017. J.C. Penney's, 138 going down. Kmart, 28. Uh, Sears, 308. Macy's, 68. Gap, 200. Payless Shoes, 512. Radio Shack, 1,000. Gander Count, Gander Mountain, 128. Staples, 70. CBS, 70. 
Okay? They drop it like flies. You, we are in the fall of America. Yes, but the stock market is at 22,000 right. and going up. Mm. Now, wait a minute. How's the stock market going up and the, and the stores are closing? Come on now. See, Mr. Farrakhan has told us that this is a bubble. Yeah. It's a bubble being produced by the Federal Reserve, printing money, giving it to the bankers for them to buy stock to make the stock market look like it's still going up to keep the suckers stuck in it and us believing in it wow. instead of pulling out even though we see everything is going down. Mm -hmm. See, these people are deceitful, man. Matter of fact, my, my wife told me something I didn't see. She told me, I believe, she said she saw it on, 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 a, on a, a show, a newscast, that there's somebody at a press conference had some, the person doing the, the speaking, the uh, sign language, uh, was yeah. fake. They didn't know what they was doing. Now you talking about lying. You talking about lying. They got somebody faking to yeah. give a sign language. And somebody called in and busted them. Uh, Man, what are they doing? What language is that? <laughs> <laughs> These are liars, man. Wow. So now they, they got here it is, the stores is closing and the stock market is going up, man. These guys is good. Okay, it's something, I, think, I don't like being played. That's mm -hmm. amazing. All right? Amazing. <clears throat> now, even the, the population of white folks is declining in America. Between Barack Obama's 2008 election and 2016, America has transformed from being a majority white Christian nation of 54% to a minority white Christian nation of 43%. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You see, these are statistics that they're keeping mm -hmm. from you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to know what's going on. Yet Trump won, but Trump didn't win. That's right. But he did win. <laughs> he lost by three million. Mm -hmm. And he won the electoral college. Mm -hmm. And until a few days ago, Hillary never said nothing about it. Come on. She finally said something about it yesterday. That's right. Mm -hmm. The day before that, she was on TV and she didn't say nothing about it. <clears throat> but this yesterday she started talking about the uh, the electoral college needs to be revamped. Mm. Okay, the electoral college was set up just for this opportunity in case the people voted in the direction that the, that the people who got the, the power mm -hmm. didn't like. Mm -hmm. They used electoral college to make it come out the way they want. Mm. Wow. And that's the way it's set up. You're not living in a democracy. That's right. It's a fakeocracy. Right. You're being faked out all the time, right. on every level. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't like being played. Right. <laughs> not by another person. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm just as good as a white person. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I'm better, but at least I think I'm just as good as a white person, right. not to allow That's myself right. to be fooled right. forever by a white sure. person, sure. okay? Now, this is from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. This is in the fall of America. It's also re re reprinted in the I'll call newspaper. This is from the Holy Quran, chapter 13 and 41. See they not that we are visiting the land, curtailing it of its sides? And Allah pronounces a, a doom. There is no repeller of his decree. Allah is swift in calling to account. Wow. We're living in this time frame. Now, he says, as America has done, done, so now it is being done unto her. America has surrounded the country of other peoples. She has blown their cities to pieces, and she has killed their inhabitants. Mm -hmm. Up until this very minute, she is seeking to destroy the black man in America and deprive him of the freedom to do for self. America never desires a departure of the black slave from his white slave master. America wishes only to hold the black slave in order to continue to treat him with evil. Wow. But, but, how do you, but how can you continue? How do you hold them? You hold them by having somebody faking love to them, faking that they like them. So our worst enemies is those good white folks. That's right. That's right. Those are our worst enemies. That's right. Because they're making us think that we can make it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of them go change. That's right. It's called good cop, bad cop. That's right. Okay? They use them to hold us while they whoop us. That's right. Okay? This is all about Elijah Muhammad. But a God with unlimited wisdom, knowledge, and power is now befriending the black slave and has chosen the black slave to be his people. But the foolish black people have yet to come into that knowledge that Allah God is their best friend, and that he is here to save them from the destruction of a people who have shown enmity and hatred to us all of our lives. Mm -hmm. 
Come on now. When the planes show up, Negroes go be running from the planes mm -hmm. and telling Massa, come on, Massa, they're coming to get us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're going to be running from the plane. The Martians are coming. Mm -hmm. They're going to get y'all. Come on, boss. Let's run, Massa. I picked you up, Massa. <laughs> Then your, then your brother's on them planes, man. They're going to kill this crowd. That's but right. you'll be running, telling right. Master, let's run, Master. That's right. That's how crazy we are. That's right. Somebody stop me when I, when I start lying. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Mr. Farrakhan had a recent speech that he did um, uh, at, at Moss Maryam, 8 2017. Take refuge in Allah. Say, yeah. wonder, listen, listen to this, though. This is, this is really interesting. What a wonderful thing to be given. An assignment man. to help a man whom God has given the hardest job of any man that ever lived. Man. Number one, somebody be given the hardest job to ever lived. And number two, for for, for that, it's a wonderful thing. Man, man. Wrong with that. man. <laughs> man. I can say, man, I don't understand my far kind of love. Oh, come on. You know, he tell we try, we trying to. I'm trying to understand. Hmm. But right now, I mean, he's beyond me. That's why I call him a naked human being. I am not there yet. That's right. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> He, he said, what a wonderful thing to be given an assignment to help a man whom God has given the hardest job of any man that ever lived. And man has been living in this universe for trillions of years. But the hardest job is to take a people who are the people of God that were kidnapped and brought to a, on a westerly course through the transatlantic slave trade and made other than themselves. So much so that they are reflectors of the mind and spirit of their captors. And the people that captured us were the devil himself. Mm. <laughs> you see, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad don't spend a whole lot of time get, just, just getting right to the nitty gritty, just, just dropping it. And you got to look at it, the whole state, you got to say, you know, I don't know about them trillions of years, you know what I mean, but I definitely know that's the devil himself. <laughs> okay? So he's dropping a whole lot to you right there. Trillions of years? Now, the power of this book. You see this book, mm -hmm. the Bible. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is a lock. Mm -hmm. L O C K. Mm -hmm. It locks you in the six thousand years. That's right. Mm -hmm. Makes you think everything happened from <laughs> creation <laughs> to now is in it is six thousand years. Mm -hmm. And we talk about trillions. Come on. Mm -hmm. So if your mind is locked within a six thousand year frame that's dictated to you by this book, can't you can't. Go beyond the parameters of that. That's right. You can't get your locks. So this is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad called this the poison. Right. Okay, this will kill you. This will kill your brain. That's what it is. Come on. Okay, and our people are so locked down with that. Right. Our black women. I love it when that brother said, "Well, you know, he, you know, Jesus was a black man." I mean, he didn't say that. You know, he was a black man. You know, because our black women, in general, love the white Jesus. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. They love the white Jesus. And they will not let their brothers come to the mosque. Mm -hmm. Okay? We know, because we out there selling the papers, right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, we sir. know that. She'll look at him, and he wants to get the paper, and she'll look at, at him, and he'll say, No, 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 I don't want that. <laughs> it's a fact. It's a fact. Okay. Now, Mr. Farrakhan, this, this, this one line. There's a, a lot of stuff that you should remember about what Mr. Farrakhan said, but for me, this is the most important thing that he said in that in speech, and for me right now personally. He said, seek refuge in Allah. Mercy for one another will help us through this dark hour. Mm. 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 Now, I don't know, some of y'all might not know me, but some of y'all do. They know Dr. Riz is not too merciful. Yeah. <laughs> Once you do Dr. Riz it wrong, or he feels that you've done it wrong, you an enemy. Mm. That's it. I ain't, there ain't no mercy. Mm. But that right there, it, it, it messed with me. Mm. Because we go in this dark hour, but all we're going to have is those of us who say we believe. Yeah. Mm. Right. At least we got dead. That's right. the, and we got to get, find out how to get along together. No matter right. what happened before then, mm -hmm. we're going to have to drop it. Right. We're going to have to go through the atonement process. Right. That's right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And say, look, man, I know I did this to you. I know I did to you, sister. You know, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? And you know, black folk, we gonna do that. We gonna forgive you once you once you fess up. That's right. That's right. Once you fess up, man. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> we don't worry about it. 
<laughs> but when we ain't fessed up, man, you know, we hold that girl. Right? That's right. Yeah. So, you know, nigga, you know what you did. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm That's right. And that, nigga, you know, you owe me $25. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and 50 cents. Yeah. <laughs> you told me 10 years ago you was going to pay me back. <laughs> I mean, you know, I live past that. <laughs> But it's just a principle of the thing. Am I right or wrong? That's yeah. right. That's what we are. Right. But now Mr. Farrakhan is telling us, look, man, we got to mercy, have mercy for one another. Because it will help us through this dark hour. If you, if, if, if you hold nothing after this whole conversation, I'm serious. This, for me, this is the most important thing for me to learn how to be more merciful to my brothers and sisters who I feel that I may have been done the wrong, but I probably don't even know why they did it. Probably because something I did, but anyhow, you know, I didn't see that. I never see that part. Don't bear with the too loud people. You know. okay. Now, here's another thing the minister said was said. Allah God has reserved America for his judgment. He said this in the context of us worrying about North Korea mm -hmm. sending nuclear weapons over here to America. Mm -hmm. He said, don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. right. Allah, God has preserved America for himself. Mm -hmm. So you ain't got to worry about China, Russia, right. none of them sending no, no missiles over here. He going to protect this because right. he taking this down himself. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Now, in that same light, if he can protect America from her enemies, then that means if we have a separate land or territory for ourselves inside of America, then our God can protect us from them. That's, That's right. 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 That's, That's the right. corollary to that right. mathematical. Right. 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 So if Allah God can preserve America for himself, then he can preserve us for himself right. from America. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because that fear of white folks killing us when we go separate is serious with black people. Yet, they say, white man, you know, all of them ain't bad. But you know, if we separate, you know what they can do because they can do because we're in bombers. That's what we know. We can do because we're in bombers. We ain't got no way to defend ourselves against it. What? Well, we just leaving them. Why would they come with their bombers unless they is what? They dead them. Come on now. <laughs> Negroes bad witness that they the devil because they're scared the hell out of them. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, they won't even leave them. That's right. All right. Mm. Here's Mr. Farrakhan again. I want you to know we are going to get through the dark hour. This country is going down. There are some things that are going to happen that will bring America into war. Those of you who have your 401k in the stock market, see how it's going up, up, up? It's a bubble. And soon it's going to burst. Mm. And everybody that has their hope in the stock market, you see a lot of people committing suicide. My God. Happened in 1929, happened in 2008, 2009, mm -hmm. it's going to happen again. Mm -hmm. Follow them and jump out of the building. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or follow God through the, the guidance of Mr. Farrakhan, and we get through this dog out. Yes. What do the Muslims believe? We believe, I, I gave this to you before, and I just give you show an example. Here's A, you want to give A to G, right? That little deviation right there at that point mm -hmm. will send you on a whole other track. Mm -hmm. And you will never get the G unless you turn around. Okay? That's why just a little bit of tampering with this book is enough to throw you completely off track That's right. for the rest of your life and our people's life and our country's life. That's right. To show you an example that they know what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says is true. This is Jeremiah 8 and 8 from three different versions. Now, number one, that should give you a clue right there. Why should it be versions of the Bible? Come on now. If you have, a, if you have a, an accident, the police get different versions, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to get to the truth, but it was somebody's version of the truth. Mm -hmm. So anyway, here's, here's King James Version. How do you say, we are wise, and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain may he get. The pen of the scribes is in vain. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Let's take another version, the new international version. How can you say, we are wise, for we have the law of the Lord? when actually the lying pen of the scribes has handled it falsely. Another uh, standard version. How can you say we are wise and the law of, of the Lord is with us 
when in fact the false pen of the scribes has made it into a lie. Mm -hmm. Translate the same verse that King James translated. When you read King James again, you can see how they twisted it up. But it was telling you the truth up there, but it was so twisted up you couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. Hiding this very simple fact that the scholars know that the Bible has been tampered with. And you don't have the true word of God. You have something that is now a lie. That's right. Truth. You can't get God's people with nothing but lies. Okay? Brothers, you know, you know, I have to break it down with black folk. You know when you're out to a sister. You don't come to her and say, you know what? You're cute. I like your mind. That's really all I want. You don't come like that. No. No. You go like, oh, sister. Your eyes. <laughs> you ain't even looking. Your eyes. Your eyes. Uh, your smile. <laughs> and, uh, your perfume. Oh, I know you're intelligent. Oh, I can just see us together. I can see us on, on, on a boat cruise uh, going down to New Orleans. Huh? We know we ain't got no money on that boat. <laughs> she know that too, but it sounds it sound so good. You get a few little drinks in it. They say, you know, you hit jackpot. All based on a lot. A lot. Yeah, you like it all right. That's the truth. But that ain't the reason why you like it. Right. Just tell her straight up. She may be willing to go down like that. You know, okay, cool. You know? But you know you can't play like that. It ain't gonna work, right? So you lie. Okay. Does the white man do? He know he can't tell you the truth. And he can't tell you the whole lie. He can't tell you the, nothing but a lie. He's got to mix it to capture you wow. and then twist you into another being. And that's what he has done. Genesis. And, we, and this is how we are reinterpreting things. We'll show you later what I mean by that. And it said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs. It shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will judge, and afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Now, of course, key has come out. They didn't say stay in. That's right. Okay. That means separate. Now, this 400 years thing. Now, who do we think was, was enslaved 400 years? Mm -hmm. Huh? Jews. The Jews, right? Matter of fact, we see it. Every year right. in the movie, what's the movie? Every year they play the same movie. Right. Uh, Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments <laughs> with Charles and Heston Charles as, as Moses. And Ewell Brennan. And Ewell Brennan, right? <laughs> as, as, as Pharaoh. And then as a, and it's just a sidebar. sidebar. Now, this is what why, why the story, even though it didn't have a wife looking at me, you know, stretch it out too long, Dr. Richard. Um, we know it didn't happen like that. We're going to show you that even the Jews know that. But let's just look at the story of Moses. Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Moses used a rod and whooped Pharaoh and his people ten times with that rod. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, they run, they go to the sea, he uses the rod, he opens up the sea. There's a pillar of fire behind him so Pharaoh can't get to him. Mm -hmm. Okay? When they get across the sea on dry land, mm -hmm. then they move the pillar of fire. Now, this is what a black person would have done. <laughs> black person, look, send some scouts out there to see if he still got that rod. We know he don't whip us with ten times with that rod and use that rod to open up that water back right there. <laughs> if he ain't got that rod, we will get it. <laughs> we will ride in there and we will get it. <laughs> but if he, ain't got, if he got that rod, we will wait a little while. <laughs> we, we can get some boats made. And we go across the sticker after them, but I ain't, you got that rod. But Pharaoh went anyway. That's right. This is why all these lashings that God is doing against America, all these warnings that Mrs. Farrakhan has given her, she ain't gonna bow. She ain't gonna bow. Because that's the mindset. They're not gonna bow to God. They're not gonna bow to God's people. They're not gonna bow to a black person. They put a black person in charge and then stripped them of the power to do anything for them. That's right. Right. And then they voted to get rid of him so they get rid of Obamacare. That's right. And they found out that it was really the Affordable Health Care 
Mm. Right. That's they care for a bit. Right. And they said, oh my God, <laughs> that's my footy that memory's cut off. <laughs> okay? So this is what we did with we did with, but they going down, they can't help themselves, they're not gonna submit. Suicide. The suicidal man, they're crazy. They're moving to the ocean. Right. That's why they're out there. We'll talk about that a little later. That's why they're all out there. Mm -hmm. They love it out there. Mm -hmm. they, they're waiting for the tsunami. Right. They want to be the first one that we to film it. There it is, y'all. <laughs> is it a hundred feet? I think it's hundred and fifty feet. <laughs> oh my God. Oh! Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. They love it. Love. They, they, love it. They, look, they want they want to go. Mm -hmm. They don't like it here, you know that, right? White folks don't like it here. No. I saw a white boy running one day. And this is the truth. He run as fast as he could run. <laughs> he didn't get it. If an ant had lifted up his head, the ant would have tripped him up. <laughs> he could not get his feet off the ground. Now you imagine that and then seeing Air Jordan flying. And you and you in a body. They can't do that. If you, go on the internet and, and look up Cecily Tyson's 90-year-old picture. Oh, mm, God. Mm. Come on. 90-year-old picture of Cecily Tyson. Mm -hmm. You got to understand that we got to separate. Because white folks see the same thing you're looking at. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they're looking at themselves and said, look at you and look at me. Mm -hmm. this, is bad, so this is a personal thing with her. We know you don't tell them to them. Out of love for her brother, she brought her brother all the way from Texas. And his wife. His wife is old white woman. Her brother died, but because of her love for her brother, she took him. Take, she had charge of both of them. Because she was, how old is she now? 88. 88 years old. So she has that arrest on her. And she is jealous of my wife. Right. And they told, and told the, the person over them, right, the, over her, what, the caretaker, you know, said, what? Say, look at her. And look at me. Mm. Wow. <laughs> So she has everything. Now, she even calls, that's her niece instead of her sister-in-law. Because she don't want people to know that's her sister-in-law. Right. Compared to her. Right. See, they know what they're doing. Right. Come on. So you gotta get, we got to get away from the people. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. They hate us. That's right. But yet want to be like us. That's right. That's right. right. If I hate you, I ain't trying to be like you. I don't want your skin. That's right. I don't want your lips. I don't want your nose. That's right. They pump it up their damn lips. Right. Pump it up their hips. That's right. To look like somebody who they don't like and then go underneath a tinsel lamp and get cancer so they can get a little cold. You know, it's, it, it, yeah, they're the devil. Now, Here's from the message of the black man, the Abelaj Muhammad. Who are the children of Israel? America has fulfilled this to, to the very letter and spirit with her slaves, the so-called Negroes. Under the type of Israel, the Egyptians did nothing of the kind to Israel when they were in bondage to them. In fact, and as God has taught me, the Bible is not referring to those people as his people. It is referring to the so-called Negro and his enemy. The white race. From 1555 to 1955, the 400 year period. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't 1619, y'all, it was 1555. That's right. They hit 64 years. And 15, 1955 was a very important time because that's when, uh, that's when Allah gave to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad Farrakhan. Right. That's right. That's when he gave the gift of this helper to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, which is our root out of here. Riding on the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan's faith mm. and the reestablishment of the nation of Islam is all because of the faith of Farrakhan. That's right. We're here because of his faith. That's right. We can't claim faith and understanding. I was in the first. I went to sleep too when it was taken over by somebody else. I couldn't defend the teacher of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, so I went back to the streets. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to go to heaven after I die. I don't care if Muslim help me or Christian help me. I wasn't, I wasn't even trying. I wanted to help the Honorable Elijah Muhammad build a heaven on earth. That's why I joined the Nation of Islam when I did in 1971. Okay? So now Mr. Farrakhan 
is bringing that back up as a goal. And that's my goal, is to help him build a heaven on earth. Well, how do you know anything about that? Well, I just have to find out. <laughs> but I know right now this is a hell on earth. That's right. This is hell that we're living in. That's right. Talking about going to hell and being burned up forever and ever. Hell, we've been burned up forever and ever in America. That's right. If not physically, your soul is so scared of being burned up, you might as well be burned up. <laughs> scared to death of these practices. <laughs> I'm scared of Negro. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up. I ain't straight up cracking. White folks got sense. When I first came, came down here, some white folks, I was in, getting some, I had this pouch, and I was getting some supplies from the John Deere place. And so a guy asked, was, they were five of them on break. And they said, Ain't you a little nervous walking around here with all that, that money? And the muscle came out immediately. <laughs> Number one, it's not a lot of money. <laughs> Number two, it's not my money. Mm. And if you kill me, I'm sure you don't want two million niggas with bow ties. <laughs> <laughs> and that was right after the Million Man March. So they understood exactly what I was talking about. And I knew exactly what I was using. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I said, two million niggas with bow ties. So that's what I know what you call us. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay? So you want to play? You know what? Two of them crackers, to this day, work with John Deere. If I need something, I can get it from them. That's right. That's right. They even made they even made me tools oh, right. to fix the John Deere, so I would have to come and spend ninety dollars an hour wow. to take it there. Mm. Two of the same crackers that was there that day, mm. and one of them asked that damn question. Oh, yeah. Once they sh once you show them right. that right. you ain't afraid, right. you ain't no punk, come and you say okay, let's go. But then what? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. They hate the cow. They hate a cow. They hate a sellout. Mm -hmm. So just, just, and I had another story. I was working on a tractor, had a flat tire. I was way away from the farm, when the first got the farm. A black truck came down the road and stopped. These white guys got out. I got behind the wheel of the tractor. I knew what was going to happen. They said, man, I don't want to have no problems around right here. I don't want to, I don't have no trouble with that black man. Black man? I thought I was a nigga down here. How do I become a black man? <laughs> so they weren't talking about me. They know who owned that farm. Mm -hmm. mm. See? I'm not down here by myself. That's right. And I know that. Okay? I got protection. Yes, sir. A lot. Right. And it's Christ. That's right. You know, there's some baby planes flying around here. That's right. You know, I ain't worried about these crackers. That's right, Mom. All right? If they kill me, they just kill me. Okay? But a Negro? <laughs> I, 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 I've almost had fights with many Negroes now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I had to tell him, I said, man, you don't want to do this. What, nigga? I said, no, man, listen, we just, just cool it out, man. You don't want to do this. I'm not here by myself, man. That's right. You know what I mean? I might can't whoop you, but you're going to be out of here. You understand? Right. So, you know, I don't have no problem. I have to explain it to him. But before I explain it to him, nigga will be stupid. That's right. They roll up on somebody, man. I ain't think, I'm not who you think I am, brother. That's right. I got back. That's right. I'm owned. That's right. That's right. God slave. That's right. That's right. And right now he got use for me. Now when he ain't got no use for me, you can come get me and he'll say, okay, you can have me. But right now, I'm Abdul Mukmin. That's right. Abdul means slave servant. Uh. That's right. So I'm a slave to God right now and it's Christ and his, and his uh, messenger. Dabba Elijah Muhammad Mr. Farrakhan right now. So hey, as long as they have need for me, I ain't worried about you. That's right. Now who I'm scared of, I'm going to take it straight up. Every time I go visit the minister, I come back and tell my wife, well, I call him on the way back. Well, just Dan, I ain't fired yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still on the research team. <laughs> Every time I go, that's all I want. Not to be fired and not to be kicked off. You know, if I am, I have to figure something else to do, you know. But so far, not. But that's what I'm scared of. You know what I mean? Just saying, I ain't fired. Still the research team. <laughs> oh, praise you too. I'll be home, sir. Okay, now. Now, going back to the statement that Elijah Muhammad made about Egypt did nothing of that kind. Now, we go to the 1967 Six Days War that Israel won. It opened up Arab land for Israeli archaeologists bent on proving the historical accuracy of the Bible story, in particular the Exodus. When leading scholars such as Israel 
Finkelstein. You can't get more. You can't get more Jews than that. More Jews than that. And Neil Asher Silverman reviewed the archaeological evidence which they published in their book, 2002 book, The Bible on Earth. They concluded that the wandering of the patriarchs, the Exodus from Egypt, Joshua's conquest of Canaan, and David and <coughs> Solomon's vast kingdom was not backed up by the archaeological evidence. Mm. Mm. They couldn't get to certain places because it was still controlled by the Palestinians. But when they won that war, they were able to get to that place on the West Bank and then to do the research to see they want to prove the Bible story. And instead, it proved that the Bible story is an error. There was no Jericho at the time that they say that Joshua knocked it down. There was no Jericho. They never found the first temple. He talked about the second temple, the third temple in, in Jerusalem. They never found the first temple. It's convenient that it was destroyed because mm. it never happened. Mm. Mm. And they can't find what, in archaeology, man, they can find stuff, man. Because mm. there, there'll, be there'll be a base, and then underneath there'll be another one. And they keep digging until they get down to the level. And there usually, usually be that base, the floor, the, 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 the stone floor. Mm. Nothing. There's no first temple. We believe that the awful integration is hypocritical and it's made by those who are trying to deceive the black people in believing that their 400 year old enemies of freedom, justice, and equality are all of a sudden their friends. Furthermore, we believe that such, a, such deception is intended to pre prevent black people from re realizing that the time in history has arrived for the separation from the whites of this nation. If the white people are truthful about their professed love, friendship towards the so-called Negro, they can prove it by <laughs> dividing up America with their slaves. We do not believe that America will ever be able to furnish enough jobs for her own millions of unemployed in addition to jobs for the 20 million black people as well. Now we've come to, to, to live this now. Now white folks are being laid off all over. That's right. Right? It used to be they had the jobs and we didn't, but now they don't even have the jobs. So the Uncle Elijah Muhammad has warned us, and now we are suffering, and we still got people who, who still want to try to integrate. Mm -hmm. Separation is a divine solution, mm -hmm. what the Muslims want, number four. We want our people in America whose parents or grandparents were descendants from slaves to be allowed to establish separate state or territory of their own, either on this continent or elsewhere. We believe that our former slave masters are obligated provide such land and that the area must be fertile and minerally rich, we believe that our former slave masters are obligated to maintain and supply our needs in this separate territory for the next 20, 25 years until we are able to reduce and supply our own needs. Now, if you have a, a, a divorce, the woman get alimony. Mm -hmm. So for those of y'all say, well, you gonna separate from the white man, why are you asking this? We want alimony. Right. That's right. Now, do you understand that? Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We won't have them. Now, but they might bomb us. See, this is what you're worried about. Mm -hmm. Shock and awe. Mm -hmm. Bad day, 1991. Man. See, they filmed this, and want y'all to see this. Because they want to let you know, mm -hmm. nigga, this is what happened to you. You know what I mean? We'll blow you up. We're good at this. This is what we do. This is what we do. Now, Mr. Farrakhan, see, if you don't believe certain things that we believe, you can be pumped out. So Mr. Farrakhan, 1989, October 24, 1989, in a press conference. That's right. In Washington, D.C. In his press conference, he said on September 17, 1985, in a tiny town in Mexico called Tebots, Atlanta, there's a mountain on the top of which is the ruins of a temple dedicated to Quetzalcoatl, the Christ figure for Central and South America. A mountain of which I have climbed several times. I have on night of September 17, 1985, I was carried up on that mountain in a vision with a few friends of mine. As we reached the top of the mountain, a wheel of what you, you call an unidentified flying object, UFO, appeared to the side of the mountain and called to me to come up into the wheel. Three metal legs appeared from 
um, the wheel, giving me the impression that it was going to land, but it never came over the mountain. This is an announcement that Uncle Elijah Muhammad had, had him to give. He said, he said, Uncle Elijah Muhammad said, he said, President Reagan has met with the Joint Chiefs of Staff to plan a war. I want you to hold a press conference in Washington, D.C. and announce their plan and say to the world that you got the information from me, Elijah Muhammad, on the wheel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He goes on further. You may come against me, which you are free to do, since we have no power to stop you. But you know, we check you at the door, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. But I warn you that I am backed by the power of Allah God and His Christ and the power of that wheel in which I receive this announcement. Yeah. The moment you attempt or lay your hands on me, mm. the fullness of Allah's God's wrath will descend upon you and upon America. Come on. This Fools. is why we talk smack. Fools. We believe That's right. that Ms. Farrakhan got back. That's, That's right. right. That's right. We believe we got back. That's right. That's right. So we are, we, you know, I want to do this t-shirt. I want to do this t-shirt, Tony. I know you say you don't do that. I want to do this t-shirt. <laughs> you know, I do t-shirt. I want to have God fishing with a fishing pole over to the ocean, and and, 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 and the Viazon is in there. And I'm going to have an FOI on the end of the hook. <laughs> no. <laughs> we debate. We debate. Mr. Farrakhan said, we debate. Uh, come on. Come on with it. Mm. You, might get a, you might get 300 of us. Sorry. So what? We die all the time. That's right. That's right. Hell, I mean, you know, every weekend, 20 or 30 of us die up in Chicago right. in the big cities. Right. Over foolishness, right? right. right. Then we go, we fight in the wars for him to die. That's right. So, you know, 300, hey, that ain't many. Right. Right. You know, I like to be in that number. Just make sure you got my name spelled right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so my great-great-grandchildren can say, that was Dr. Ridgely. Not Dr. Ridgely, like Sister who would be saying Dr. Ridgely. No, Dr. Ridgely, Abdul <laughs> Mufti, was one of the 300 that was killed. <laughs> to bring down the wrath of God. Oh, I, you know, I don't like some right. But see, this is boldness now. This is 1989. Uh, right. He did a press conference. How many years ago was that? See? Somebody do the math. Huh? Almost 30 years, right? 28. Right? Now, how come they ain't rolled up on Farrakhan? How they come there and rolled up on Farrakhan? He, he laid it out. He said, look, uh, come get me. Huh? You may come against me. Come on. We can't, you know, we can't stop you. We ain't got no weapons that you can see on us. But the point is, because Mr. Farrakhan, I'm on his research team, he gave us literature. He gave us reports for the military. Mm, wow. About their sightings of UFOs mm. over their military bases. Wow. Mm. One of the sightings was one of the baby planes came over a silo of a, of a nuclear missile. weapon, missile silo, mm. shine the light onto the silo, mm. stayed there for about a half hour. Mm. The men who were supposed to be guarding the silos were inside hiding. <laughs> and the guy said, Let me, You supposed to be guarding this man, but I ain't. <laughs> Long as them things out there, wow. this is in the report. Wow. Long as them things out there, I ain't going out there. Wow. So after the, those things left, wow. they went out there and went into the silo and found that the, the coordinates hmm. for the missile and the, the software had been changed. Oh, oh. my God. With just a light, hmm. they had changed the, the coordinates so they had, to re, they had to reprogram the missile. Come on. Now this is, a, this is, this, yeah, I stick my chest out behind that. <laughs> That's a bad dude. That's no, right. They can shine a light in the ground. Do you know how, do you know how, how much concrete is over them silos? Because they're, they're there to, to take a nuclear hit. Come on. Come on. And still operate. The doors are still being open so they can shoot back. And the light shine. And it changed the program, so they got to go and change the program. So, so that's why Mr. Farrakhan said, we ain't worried about nobody coming and try to hit America. Wow. Hmm. Our planes can make circles around their planes and they shoot their, their, their missiles at it. They can just keep going. They go around, spin around. Look at it. Oh, okay. That's a, what model is that? 
Yes, I didn't know when I got here that what's now called uh, um, the Heritage Bank, that was a synagogue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I got here in 1995, that was a synagogue downtown Albany. It's the move out now, but that was a synagogue. And I didn't figure out, I thought the Jews were scared of white folks. Why do they have a synagogue downtown? But then we find out through the secret relationship right. between blacks and Jews that in fact they were ruling the South. That's right. Not just in the South, right. but ruling right. the South. Right. And still rule the South. That's right. That's, right. That's why the, 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 the golf tournament, the masses, is up in Augusta. That's where the masters live. These crackers down here. Uh, with the overseers uh, for Macon and Augusta and right. Albany, right. I mean I, I, Atlanta, they had the overseers here. Right. And I asked the black guy in the first movie, how come the black folks down here lie so much and how come they're so evil? He said, because their masters taught them that because these are the most wicked and sorry, right. lazy, evil white folks in Georgia, wow. in Terrell County. Wow. And they taught their slaves to be just like them. Mm. So in Terrell County, black folks are lying to you so quick. The sun be shining, and they said, man, this show is raining. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they lied. No reason. Let's come up to this table. They lied for no reason. In Terrell County. I don't know about all the guys on here right here that much, but in Terrell County, well, the Negroes will lie to you, man. <laughs> so this is what they, this is what they saw. They saw a threat. Okay, and they went to war against us. When, when we come back again, we will talk about that war, okay? But this is what they did in 2001. And see, I was just a timeline here. Remember, 1989, Mr. Farrakhan lays down the gauntlet. 1995, he has a million man march. Mm -hmm. Now, how come they come roll up on us? Come on now. They come and shoot their own foot. Mm -hmm. They killed 3,000 of their own people in 2001 to develop an in ground against Muslims. That's right. Mm -hmm. And our beautiful brother, Dr. Collett, Allah allowed him to be taken out before that happened because if Dr. Collin was here when that happened, he said, oh, chickens finally came from the roost and took out two fetish symbols. Mm -hmm. And we would have been in jail. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this here really dampened the spirit of the Million Man March. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is real. This is power. This is the biggest hoax ever pulled in the history of the world. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on. They brought down their own. There was three bills that went down that day. In, in New York City. Two of them were hit by planes and one, one of them was not hit by a plane. It's building number seven. And the owner of the building said to pull it. Pull it means to pull the trigger for the bombs that are already in there. Therefore, the bombs will have to be placed in there before that day because you can't do it in one day. And therefore, it was placed in building number seven and also placed in building number one and number two. So it was the inside job. That's right. Now, same as day 2012, this is when he had the first conference on 911. How the science behind it. Mm -hmm. 2017, he just did another one to talk about who did it. Mm -hmm. Now 2012, he didn't talk about who did it. He didn't want us to deal with who did it. He just wanted to deal with the science that it could not have happened with those 19 Arabs. Mm -hmm. That's right. Why? Because if we had started talking about them Jews, the Jews would have forced Obama harder to come against us, mm -hmm. and we would have had to retaliate and it would have been a problem. Man. So Farrakhan backed off on exposing the Jews' hand in it until Trump is in. Mm -hmm. Trump is in there, and Mr. Farrakhan let loose mm -hmm. on who did it. That's right. We want the confrontation now. We got a white boy in the office. That's right. Okay? The black man is gone, his family is gone and safe, but we got a white boy in the office. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Time to dance. Okay. 2004. Farrakhan warns Bush in a press conference. Mr. Farrakhan reminded Bush of his December 2001 warning about going into Iraq. Now Mr. Farrakhan warned Mr. Bush that if he did not pull out of Iraq, America would feel the wrath of God a lot. He said that he was praying to his God to strike America. He told everybody to watch the weather. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's Come May 3rd, 2004. Come on now. I wrote a letter to the minister in October 26th of 2004. I said, in May of 2004, you warned America to watch the weather. Well, I have been doing just that. When Hurricane Jean backed up, backed up to take another shot at Florida, I decided to pay close attention to her tracks. 
This led me to searching out the tracks of the other four hurricanes that will hit America this summer and fall. Mm -hmm. I went to a website called uh, weather.unisys, which keeps a backlog of past hurricane tracks. Diagram 1 is a composite of all the hurricane and tropical storm tracks for the year 2004 as of October 25th. Now, now this is Florida right here. This is North Carolina right here. I turned everything on the side so because I'm going to use those. But those are the actual tracks of the hurricanes. Y'all see those? Mm -hmm. So then I made it a direct replica of it. And when you put them together, yeah, yeah. they spill a lot. I go back over. Each one of those. See, this is this is one. This, this is really the telltale one right here. That's the screwy one right there. That's the one up top right there. So together, this makes a law. So what he did. The Mr. Far said, watch what Allah wrote his name Come on. <laughs> across the face of America. Come on. Now, if a tree fell in the woods <laughs> and nobody heard it, did it make a noise? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it made a noise. Yeah, it made a noise. You can't hear it. <laughs> so Mr. Farrakhan gave the warning and Allah gave the answer, but did we Listen, did we see it? Come on. It slipped oh, past us. Man. Okay? Because we weren't looking and we didn't even know how to see. Wow. All right? So Allah blessed me to be able to see mm -hmm. and put together what was there. I didn't produce it, I just showed it. But this is so many things that Mr. Farrakhan does that we are so slow in understanding that we don't even see it. The white man do this, Farrakhan do that, then the white man got to back up, and you, even, you didn't even see the name. You know, you look at the, 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 the Star Wars and, 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 and Darth Vader <laughs> and the Skywalker and their light swords and everything. All that stuff is symbolic. These light swords, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't even see the fight. You didn't see the dance. Mm -hmm. Farrakhan dancing this, this, this with Satan right now, and we don't even see it because we're too blind, too busy, worried about the nightclubs in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> Now also, in 2000, November 2003, there was an article about what happened in Texas. Texas was blanketed with snow after Bush voted on November 2nd, 2004. Remember the best far kind of warning in May of 2004, watch the weather. This is a news report, look at Texas. Wet snow blanketed parts of Texas, closing roads and cutting power to thousands. The heaviest accumulation Tuesday, November 2nd, was more than a foot in the Lubbock area, where the storm closed at least four roads and left 10,000 to 50,000 without Electricity. The Texas Panhandle saw as many as eight inches according to the National Weather Service. Many of the outages came when winds gusts up to 45 miles caused tree limbs to break and not power lines on the other side. And this is, I have a diagram, I don't have it on this one. Um, but you go to, of, of, of the snow, if we have time to ask about it, I do have it later on. Looks like a man running after a bush. The snow, what it left and turned on the ground, was a, they took an aerial photo of, of it from space, and it looked like somebody running out the wood, running out what Bush was living at at the time wow. that very day in Texas. Now, you remember Hurricane Katrina? 82505. The levees were breached. On, 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 on the uh, over here you have the you have the black side of, uh, of, of the South War, and over here you have the white side. The breach was on the black side to flood out this area here because mm -hmm. the Lower Ninth War, sixty percent black home ownership, sixty percent black ownership, and they were not going to sell the white folks. White folks wanted their property. Black folks were not going to sell it. So when they Hurricane Katrina came, they breached. Right. The people said they heard the explosions. Hmm. They right. breached it to, 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 to flood it out. And then okay. five days of truth. In other words, when I say five days of truth, this is what they really thought about black folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The convention center, 
in the Superdome. Left us out, no water, no supplies, out there to die. And then, then they did even worse. They brought in black water. And between 1,800 to 5,000 deaths. Man. And black water was, was cut loose, given, given permission to shoot the kill of any looters. And this is like modern day Tulsa, Oklahoma. Remember Tulsa, Oklahoma, yes, 1921? They bombed our businesses from the air. But they brought in these, these, these military people to, 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 to run our people over, to shoot them. And you remember some folks were trying to get out to another parish over a bridge, mm -hmm. and they were waiting. waiting. They were waiting, and they made them stay there. They, was, they, was, they, they, they killed us, and then they ran us out, and they're not, they haven't fixed this area yet. For us to come back, won't right. give us the money to fix our own houses because they, they're taking this land now. Right. Okay. Now, on July 5th, Alvin Sterling was shot and killed by white Man. Baton Rouge police officers. On July 17th, Gavin Eugene Long shot and killed three police officers in Baton Rouge in retaliation. Police were preparing to retaliate against young black men. This is a sequence of events leading up to August 12th and 13th. This here is a map of Louisiana with the, the, the amount of water that fell in that period. And between 20 and 30 inches of water, it was all centered, the hot spot was around Baton Rouge. Wow. Now, what the, what the blacks were doing in, in Baton Rouge, they were boycotting. That's right. Mr. Farrakhan said boycott. That's how you heard white folks. Mm -hmm. That God is money. Mm -hmm. Take away their money. So he was he was advising Brother, uh, Minister Rashid. Me and him talking. Mr. Rashid was talking about this. The minister told him to boycott. Them. He boycotted them. They, they boycotted the, 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 uh, the biggest mall in Louisiana. White folks were going to retaliate. And so I was asked to come to, 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 to come and speak on the 12th and 13th in Baton Rouge. I saw this on the 11th. <laughs> okay, I saw this on the, my computer. I saw this. I saw it on Thursday, and I saw it on the 10th, and then I saw this, and I called Brother Lewis, who invited me to come. I said, Brother Lewis, what is that over y'all head? It was not a hurricane. It was not a whole lot of wind. Just for days, it just sit there, and it just turned and drop water in the same spot. But it wasn't a lot of wind. Man. It wasn't a hurricane. They don't know what it was. I call, we just call it the Alvin Sterling storm. There's never been another storm like that. Mm. It just sit there. And I, with my arrogant self, had Brother Pope Tony with me. I was going to go there anyway to give a presentation. And we got within 40 miles of Baton Rouge. And we saw this cloud. We could tell that it was a huge Turn it. Big. Big. One windy, just this cloud. Big. We off the distance. And the police told we were on Highway 10, Interstate 10, and the police locked it off and told us we couldn't go no further yet to turn around. So we didn't make it. <laughs> it's that. We didn't make it. But later on, we found that that evening, once we got back, that if we had just got there a few hours earlier, this is why I say, you can't kill black folk. Not all of us at one time, because we ain't going to be on time. We ain't all of us ain't going to be on time. So we was running late. And we was, if, we had, if we had got there when we were supposed to get there, that roadblock wouldn't have been there, and we would have went further on and got stuck for 30 hours on 10. That was, that was it was flooded on one side of 10 and flooded on the other. People that were 30 hours could not get right. off right. of Highway 10. Right. Right. So I'm not encouraging you to be black like that. <laughs> <laughs> Always late. Somebody. There'll be a few who'll be on time. But somebody going to be late. Am I right or wrong? That's right. So I can see the enemy planning against us. That's why Mr. Farrakhan said, you know, plan. Do what you're going to do. You're going to listen to my conversation? You're going to listen to black folks' conversation talking about what they're going to do? You're going to listen to black folks' conversation talking about what they're going to do. 
how many black folks do you know that do exactly what they say they go do? <laughs> Somebody lie and raise their hand. You know we don't. There's always something come up. That's right. Man. We got to excuse something come up. Somebody going to be late. And they will have a good excuse. It, they're going to be late. You cannot kill all of us at one time. It is impossible. <laughs> no, but I'm saying you can't kill the black man. And I know why. We're going to be late. <laughs> you might get a whole bunch of us, but some of you ain't going to get. Damn, man, what happened? Man, they all got killed. And you know I was supposed to be there. <laughs> Something came. Some came up. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you an example of that in a few minutes. Wow. Y'all laughing. Man. That's some deep stuff. I'm dropping right now. Seriously. But anyway, that thing there, man, they ain't never seen a light before. It was not a whole lot of wind. And it and it took it took two hours to move one mile. Man. The center of this thing. Stayed in one place for the move of mile took two hours. Wow. Just dumping rain. Dumping rain. And that washed out the plans that the enemy had for our people. That's right. Mm. That's right. They, were, they were concerned about their house being flooded. Right. They weren't concerned anymore about going out to young black men. Mm. Because they was planning to come in here mm. and, and wipe the young black men out. They oh, set us up. Praise is right. to Allah. That's right. Praise be to Allah. That's right. Now we got hard. Not as rare. Seventy deaths. But remember, it's Katrina was 1,800 to 5,000. Mm -hmm. See, hurricanes do a lot of physical damage. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's soft. You know, the, the white man developed a bomb called a neutron bomb. The neutron bomb was to kill people but leave the, leave the building standing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what hurricanes do is destroy the buildings. Right. And somehow people can get through even if they don't leave. But most of the time you get a chance to leave. Mm -hmm. It gives you a chance. But even you don't. Very few people die considering the power. Hurricane Irma was so powerful, 180 miles per hour, that it was picked up on the Richter scale. Yeah. Mm. Picked up by that which measures earthquakes. A stone was measured on the Richter scale. That's how powerful Irma was. Oh, but Harvey killed 70 people. But here's Harvey's path. That's why Harvey had eyes. Let me show you Harvey's path. Harvey came up here. Now here's Houston right here now. This is, and here's the, the shoreline in the Gulf. Came up here. Now you know most of the time once they come on shore, mm -hmm. they, they swiftly move on up. Right. And, they, and, and, and they dissipate, right? Mm -hmm. But it's almost like he went up here and said, wait a minute, hold on. Well, no, no. If I keep going up here, right. I ain't gonna do this one. Right. Uh, no, I'm gonna go back. He's Give me some more power. Right. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the ocean. In the meantime, always on the east and the north part of those storms is where all the water's at. Mm -hmm. Not so much on this side. That's why we didn't get a whole lot when it came right over us. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. We didn't get a whole lot. That's right. Because if, whereas Atlanta got a whole lot, mm -hmm. Macon got a whole lot, mm -hmm. Charleston got a whole lot, Savannah got a whole lot, mm -hmm. we didn't get a whole lot, mm -hmm. even though we're right over us, mm -hmm. because the wet side is on this side of it, wow. to the east and to the north. Wow. So it came up, keeping it, keep it, its power going this direction in terms of the rains, big swirls, right? Mm -hmm. Then it backed up, still keeping it facing that way. Huh? Then it went down this way, still keeping it to the north of it. This is Houston. So all the water continually being dumped on Houston. Mm -hmm. And that life was going to come in right there. But then he said, no, no, if I go in right there, I ain't gonna do participate. So no, I'm gonna go back out, pick up some more energy, and then it went through Louisiana. Now, somebody flying that plane. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the weather people, they said they ain't never seen nothing like that before. Come right. on now. They didn't know what was going on, on that track. Come on now. We say that somebody up on a plane right. is directing that bad boy. That's right. All right? I mean, come on now. Mm. Come down here. Come down here. No. You know, I mean, come on now. Yeah. I'm loving this one. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm about to get killed in. 
But hell, one thing I found out when I was a little boy, I was a little boy, I figured this thing out. Everybody died. <laughs> Even Jesus died. They said he came back. But he died. So you can't run from death. So don't, don't let nobody punk you out of life with the threat of death. That's right. That's right. That's it. Don't let nobody punk you out of life with the threat of death. That's right. Because if it's time for you to go, you go go. That's right. If it ain't time for you to go, you ain't gonna go. So don't worry about it. That's right. Don't you worry about it. That's right. Now, now look, <clears throat> this is 828, that's what this picture was taking. We had the, 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 the Black Family Summit in Atlanta from 825 to 827. Mr. Farrakhan spoke 827. Me and my wife was there. Now, but Sister A.T., who was the one who set it up, right. said that they were supposed to have, uh, on this date, that's it was supposed to be in Houston. That's right, mm -hmm. that's right, that's right. That's a fact. <laughs> in five months, when she was ready to sign the contract, yeah. mm -hmm. She got a call from the minister, mm -hmm. and the minister said, I ain't coming. That's what he said. I ain't coming. Right. Right. <laughs> I ain't coming. Well, well. And, and, and you know, since the AT said, you know, for a minute there, I was like, you know, okay, yes, I done put all this into this. I got all these people, you know, lined up. Uh, but yes, sir. <laughs> she obeyed. Mm -hmm. So she moved it to Atlanta. That's right. And so while we was high and dry, in Atlanta, they was getting washed out in Houston. We would have been in Houston for that mess. They would have had to cancel it. You couldn't get planes in and out. But what? who told Farrakhan to tell her I ain't coming? That's right. Come on. Come on. Okay? Farrakhan is being guided. That's right. That's right. Take it or leave it. Or leave it alone and die with the white folk. But they going down. Soon they won't be around. <laughs> I can't say so don't worry about it. Alright. Now look. Here's America. Solid English. Here's Katia. Here's Irma. And here's Jose. On 970. Look at it. All three of them. Lined up. Okay? There's a war going on that you might want to know. Yes, right. Oh, man. That's right. Now, somebody mentioned, brother, um, about the the, the, the the tracks. Yes, sir. He's African. Yes, sir. These are this, these are tracks from from um, 1949 in specific, 19, 1851 in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. 1851 in Atlanta. These are the tracks. Mm -hmm. All of them start from here's the Sahara. Here's the Gulf of Guinea down here. Start right there. Come on, come on. Mm. no coincidence. Mm. I mean, come on, man. You see how many land that is? Man, mm. oh my God. From 1851. See how many lands that is, man? That ain't no coincidence, man. That's, That's right. target practice. Come on, now. <laughs> and now we got somebody who know how to steer them now. Yes, For real, real. Yes, sir. That's right. Now's a ninety word. Now look, this is where Irma hit down here. They took all those big boats, I'm going to show you in a minute. They took them out of here before the, before the storm hit. They went to places like Martha's Vineyard up here in Massachusetts. But Jose right behind us here straight towards Martha's Vineyard. Right. Right. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, Come on. There's a war going on that you might want to know. Yes, better be on the right side. That's right. That's right. Right. Now, here's a post office in St. Thomas. Now, I, I use this picture to show you to demonstrate because the post office is very important in, them, in these islands. Because many corporations just post, is a, just a post office box. Mm. Whoa. These are tax havens. Mm -hmm. These are phony corporations. So all they have is just a post office box. But they, they're able to launder millions of dollars of money through their post office box. Mm -hmm. And hire from paying taxes in their governments all from all over the world, in particular the United States. England and France, each one of those, whoever, so that would be the, the English and America, St. Thomas, okay? If you go to the French, then it will be the French people, the, the thugs, that's where they put their money, okay? There's 38 deaths in the Caribbean islands. Now, that's wiped out, but they only have 38 deaths? Hmm. That's, that's really a mercy. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
Now, this is from uh, British, the British West Indies. I mean, Virgin, British Virgin Islands. This is the this is the Bitter End Yacht Club. This is before. Yeah, this is after. Good. Bitter End, all right. <laughs> Bitter end. Now look, that, now there's a new one named Marie, Maria. Mm -hmm. they, Maria's out there and it'll come right back and hit this area again. Area. Now what's going to happen when, it, when, when Maria comes? Oh, it's clean up. This here is going to be nothing but mud because the so trees is going. Down. So when, it, when that comes, it's going to wash all that uh, mud slime. Uh, right. There's a war going on, man. Now look, the minister said, now I'm going to read this part here, but the minister said that these hurricanes are going into the white man's right. playground. That's, That's right. right. Paradise has been bought up by rich thieves from America, England, Europe, and Australia. Mr. Mm -hmm. Farrakhan said that these hurricanes are going to this playground. Now I got this from an article off of, uh, of the internet. Uh, there's a link to it. To, and that's all from my Facebook page. There have been long-standing reports that the islands are havens for corruption, tax avoidance, and money laundering. The British Virgin Islands had a population of 30,000, but was corporate headquarters for hundreds of thousands of companies. Wow. Mm -hmm. tax havens. Mm -hmm. Wow. They only had 30,000 people, mm -hmm. but they had hundreds. They don't know how much because it's a secret. There's a big secret as to, as, as to who these companies are, okay? Because they just sit there to hide money, and they do these they do fake business reports. They do fake what 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 they, what they call it when they have board meetings. Yeah. Wow! And they record it, huh? That's, That's how they do it, right. just to hide. It. And then let me show you what they do with that money. Right. Right. Now, as I said, when I read this whole article, I said, let me try and wrap my mind around this article. So the rich people whose property was destroyed by grandma are reluctant to step forward mm -hmm. to seek government assistance because <laughs> these properties were bought with embezzled, stolen, right. and drug laundered money. They want to rebuild, but they don't want to be exposed at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh man, my God is good. Man. Yes. Come on, man. My God is good at what he do. He's a master man. of this day of judgment. So all this hidden money, robbing the people from all over the world, mm -hmm. including white folks, robbing from each other. Right. Now it's being exposed. It's way and all that. Man. <clears throat> Barbuda. I, I know about Barbuda. I ain't never heard of Barbuda. <laughs> never heard of <laughs> that. was one of the islands that was wiped out completely. They smell on the news. Yeah. <laughs> right, you know what I'm talking about? Barbuda. I don't know about Bermuda. I don't know about Bermuda. <laughs> this is Ronald Sanders, who has served as Antigua and Bermuda's ambassador for, to the U.S., said of the island, quote, for the first time in 300 years, there's not a single living person on the island of Bermuda. <coughs> a civilization that has existed on that island for over 300 years has now been extinguished. Wow. Now wait a minute now. See, 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 this this that brother. I mean, see got now the whole wait. 300 mm. from 2000 is what? 17. 1700s, right? Mm. What civilization were they talking about? Come on. Mm. Slave civilization. That's right. Mm. Come on. <laughs> and it's turned in, and it's still a slave civilization. You see these right here? Come on. Mm -hmm. This is a picture taken before the storm. Mm of the, the marina where they store these yachts at. And just in the foreground, this is in this Barbuda, you ain't never know them, you don't know about This is their website. Before showing, trying to get people to come down there. 54 sailboats and yachts in the foreground. Just in this area right here, there's 54. I can count these over here. Y'all see that right there? Good. Each one of the dots, there's a whole bunch of dots right here. Doctor right there, there's a bunch of them right there. I can't count them. I'm just talking about right here. Huh? Here is Antigua Yacht Club. I count 21 large yachts right here and 14 sailboats. Just in this little area right here.
Sailboats run from $258,000 to $1,787,000. That's the sailboats. Here's, here's after the storm. It's going to crash up a lot of stuff. All right. How many black folks got $258,000? Or a boat. A toy. If you can get a house, Negroes work two jobs, both of them. Husbands and wives work two jobs to support two hundred fifty. The only time they ever had to buy that is for Christmas and for us. Don't need it. I ain't Thanksgiving no more. And, and, and a Super Bowl. <laughs> they working all the time. That's right. True. To afford a two hundred fifty-eight thousand dollar home. That's just a small sailboat. But let's get to the yachts. Use yachts. <laughs> See, y'all got these smartphones, you can use the right thing, man. Put a Google search. Use yachts. Four million three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Come on. Five million nine ninety thousand dollars. Now, five million nine nine dollars. I said five million dollars. Five million dollars. You can buy twenty-five two hundred thousand dollar homes with five million dollars. That's right. Twenty-five. $200,000 homes for $5 million. This is just for a toy. And look, that ain't all. The average annual dockage, so you got to pay for the parking space. <laughs> average annual dockage fees are $350,000 for one boat just to have it docked. Damn. And insurance it's two hundred and forty thousand dollars per year annual per year maintenance and repairs can be in the millions as can crew salaries crew <laughs> where they get all this money man come on from you and me from you and me brothers when you out there selling drugs that's what you feed Selling that junk to your people, you feed them people right there. I'll tell you about it next time you try to do something wrong, right? Come Rip your people off for a few dollars, right? Come on. You feed them right there. Scratch your ass. And they take our little young girls out there with them. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. When they, when they dock, you know, what do you think they're doing? Come on, man. man. They come to pick up young girls. That's right. That's right. Young boys. Thank you. Young boys. That's right. Yeah. Take them out there to do some stuff. That's, right. mm -hmm. That's what they do. That's what they do. Yeah. See, this paradise was promised to them by their father. Ah, we'll on. get to that in a minute. Come on, okay. Hmm. He has fulfilled his promise to them. Hmm. Now, yeah. now, like I told you now, <clears throat> Martha's Vineyard is up there in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The track for Hurricane Jose is headed straight towards Martha's Vineyard, straight to Massachusetts. I got that's what they say. <clears throat> it's estimated 100,000 yachts in the U.S. And they estimated 10,000 mega yachts. A mega yacht is 75 feet, 75 feet long and in, the, in the world. And half of them are owned by the Americans. So 5,000 mega yachts are owned by Americans. But these mega yachts are 75 feet long. Our house is 60 feet long. 60 by 30. That is not, that's not even a yacht. It's a trailer, right? Tractor trailer. Tractor trailer, right? 60 feet. No. 75 feet before you can be a yacht. Maybe a yacht. So here's Cape Cod. One, one, of, the, one of the marinas. There's a number of them. But they all be docked out. They're here to come to the, you know what I mean? See, so y'all already know about this here. No, sir. Huh? No. My daughter do. My daughter, she's a servant. She do. She go there. As a matter of fact, she get her sailing license. She go there. She know about that. Most of them know about nothing, nothing like this. No, sir. This is how they live. Okay? Um, Eddie Murphy, when, when he went out to, uh, uh, it was Eddie Murphy, one of them, no, 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 Chris Rock. He got his place out there in California, and he thought he was big time, <laughs> and his next door neighbors were, were dentists. <laughs> a dentist. He thought he'd be next to you know, uh, you know somebody like. Right. Give me some names. Huh? Like Will Smith. 
Will Smith. No, no, not Will Smith. He trying to be next to Will Smith. Bill Gates. No, not Bill Gates. He trying to get next to somebody like uh, some of the singers. Be like a uh, big white girl. What's about, not big white girl. But anyway, you don't know. They want to be next to the, the rich and the famous, right? Mm -hmm. He lined up by the 20, 20, I don't know how many million dollars he paid for. And the next old day was a damn dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the rich and famous, these people here, is not the really, really, really rich, the really, really, really rich on their own islands. Come on, man. They own their own islands. And all the black folks work for them. The black folks on those islands that you saw on, on the TV, these are the people who work for the people That's who come right. in with them boats. You see how many jobs are available from that maintenance for them, for them, for them things? Those are jobs. That's what our people are there for. But now they're gone. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody got to leave because there's nothing to do. Ain't no food there. Don't even have no fresh water because they mess up the cisterns where they capture water. They got to be rebuilt. The cisterns where they capture rainwater so they have drinking water. Those have been tore up. So they can't do nothing. Now here's. The Florida Keys. There were 70 deaths in the U.S. from uh, Irma, which is not a whole lot. Not good. I'm not saying I like people being dead. You know, I'd rather white folks are going to be scared than to be dead, personally. I want them to live to submit or at least to, to see the tsunami. But you know, I don't. I don't. I don't. You know, put them, killing white people is to put them out of their misery. Right. Let's put it straight up. Right. Killing them is putting out their misery. Now. In the West, it's September 4th. In the West, you see these red areas? Mm -hmm. Those are hot spots from bad air from fires in the West. So you got water on the East, curtailing America. You got fire mm -hmm. on the West. Earthquakes. Earthquakes in Mexico soon to come on. Mr. Farrakhan said that Allah will take out one major city with an earthquake. He didn't say which city, he didn't say when. But if I hear anything sound like a rumble, I'm going to run. <laughs> I'm just chicken like that. Now, here's giant sinkholes in Louisiana and Florida. This is a sinkhole in the middle of a swamp. All this water is falling down into that sinkhole. And then he got his van. This is, this is one of the springs for a van that fell into the sinkhole. They got sinkholes all over. Now, Abu Elijah Muhammad told us, do not buy land in Florida. He said, you ain't buy nothing in Florida. That's right. He said, it's going to be covered by water eventually. Right. What's happening is, water is undercutting the land already in Florida. Yes, That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. And now the land is falling through That's right. in the sinkholes. That's right. Because it's, it's already nothing but water underneath it. It's just really a big island with caverns underneath, and now it's going to be in the sink. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's over. It's over. Again, I repeat what the Quran said. Hold the Quran. See they not that we are visiting the land curtailing of its sides. And Allah pronounces it doing. There is no repeller of this his decree. And he is swift in calling to account. We in it now. Will the black man save him again? Now, this is from Independence Day. It was a black man who saved him, and we was all cheering for Will Smith. Will the black woman save him again? You remember the movie, mm -hmm. Hidden Figures? Mm -hmm. America would have never even made it into outer space if it wasn't for those girls right there. Black girls who were called the computer girls before the IBM came in. Mm -hmm. So are we, and a brother Ruben called in on Thursday night and said, beware. They're talking about diversity to go into software, into, into right. A, uh, uh, Apple and all the they want diversity. What they mean is they want some black minds up in there. That's right. Because they're going as far as they can go. That's right. right. They need us again. That's right. To take them to the next level of artificial right. intelligence. Right. Right. But to have artificial intelligence, you first got to have what? Intelligence. That's right. That's right. That's right. And they kept telling us with the Iran, uh, the Iraq war, me and my wife, they talked about the, we have a problem with attack intelligence. They were saying this. Hey, white folks, you tell us you got a problem with intelligence? Don't tell us that. We thought you were so smart. But now you admit you got a problem with intelligence. Abu Lai Muhammad warned us the white man has made the black man lazy.
that he may rule and enslave him by producing and selling him that which he can't produce himself. Ooh. But the white man knows he has destroyed the black man's unity. And as long as the black man thinks he cannot love and unite with black, the white man knows that he has a permanent slave. Mm -hmm. Page 222, message black. Oh Let us capture the market of our people by producing their needs. We cannot produce our needs on the soil of another. It just makes all the sense in the world. Yes, yes. Now, to show you how that white man operates, remember when he said that he's made us lazy? In 1962, y'all seen this before, some of y'all, he did something called an adaptive report, the Committee for Economic Development. This is a think tank. Net migration out of agriculture has been going on for 40 years and at a rapid rate. Nevertheless, the movement of people from agriculture has not been fast enough. I want to concentrate on these two things. This adaptive approach recommends that one, vocational agriculture courses in rural areas be scrapped. scrapped. And two, farm children be given college scholarships to study anything but agriculture. This is how they got us off their land. Now, this is 1962. That's how they got us off our land. People who had land, they took away training for the children. And then they would send them to college and they didn't study anything other than agriculture, so they'd take them off the land. Okay? But they weren't finished. They also destroyed the vocational education. Some young people don't know anything about that. But when we always come up, they have vocational education. Historically, junior high schools and high schools have offered vocational courses such as home economics. <laughs> wood and metal shop, typing, business courses, drafting and auto repair. So schools have put more emphasis now on academics for all students because of standard-based educational reform. Take them standardized tests. So they, they, they train you how to pass a test, but not how to do nothing. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they cripple you. They cripple us to make us depend on them. They made us feel poor, then destroyed our community-based economics. They destroyed our moral fiber so we could not unite with self. Now, them people who died because of their generators in their homes, mm -hmm. you know you're not supposed to have a nuclear generator in your home. That's <laughs> right. So question, why would intelligent people have the generator in your house? in the house. Theory. I can't guarantee it because they did. Theory. They didn't want to have the generator outside because others would hear it and they didn't want to use it <coughs> or steal it. Theory. It was distrust. Come on. And so they did. Come on. We had a generator. We had it on, on the outside of the porch. We got a closed-in porch, then we got an outside part of that. We had that on the outside. And that's the answer. We, I didn't put it all the way across, not across the road, but <laughs> that's still too close. <laughs> so we're going to run a long line. But it says right on the outside of the thing, do not use it. Right. Yeah. And, and an house, it has a, it's a picture of a house with a big X over it. Wow, wow. <laughs> in case you can't read. Jeez. <laughs> don't put this in the house. So why would they have it in the house? Disunity. Wow, and now look, it's the same thing in terms of being prepared. That's why we got to go out and prepare our people for disaster. Prepare them. That's right. We talking all this noise. That's right. Prepare them because when the stuff go down, right. they gonna come to us because they know we supposed right. to be repaired. That's right. That's right. They gonna roll up on us with the food at. That's right. Where the water at? I need a bandage. I know y'all got some. Because that's y'all talking, right? I said it's gonna happen. Well, it didn't happen. <laughs> so we gotta get them prepared to keep us so they don't come and take our stuff, man. Yes, sir. I don't want to fight and kill my own people. Sure. So we gotta go out and train them to be prepared for these disasters. Right. If we believe, we gotta get them ready. That's right. Okay? That's right. Otherwise, it would be like them people trying to hide stuff from my people. Muhammad well, Economic Blueprint. Recognize the necessity for unity and, and, and group operation. Now, why would anybody have, have you to recognize the necessity for unity? Come on, man. Pool your resources, physically as well as financially. Why does anybody have to tell you to do that? Come on, man. Stop random criticism of everything that is black owned and black operated. Why somebody got to tell you that? 
Keep in mind, the jealousy destroys from within. Yes, sir. Why somebody got to tell you that? Come on. And then observe the operation of a white man. He is successful. He makes no excuses for his failures. He works hard in a collective manner. You do the same. Do you know what you know what a co-op like co a cooperation is? It's a collective. That's right. They're working together. They pull the resources. Here you are as an independent businessman. You're trying to compete for the corporation. You're gonna lose. We gotta we got to work together. Depend on one another. Invest in one another. But I can't invest in you if I don't trust you. Come on. If your word ain't bond. Right. Is this oh, it? The new moment? Is this what we become? <laughs> Is he actually going to try to eat that? He's going to try. Is this what we become? <laughs> I think I made my point. <laughs> But from 1950, white cancers go down, black cancers go up. White diabetes is the same, black diabetes is skyrocketing. God. Is this what become of us? Eating yourself? Is he serious? <laughs> you know, my, my, like I said, my, my daughter is a surgeon. She cuts a lot of fat off of people. That's how she make her money. And so, you know, she, she takes x rays first, you know. And so, you know, women say, you know, you know, I've been always big boned. She said, the bones ain't no bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the bones ain't no bigger. It's just fat around them bones. <laughs> big bone. Oh, you just fat. And she gets paid a lot of money cutting that fat out. I couldn't do it. I can do it. She should be slipping around, you know. The floor that we all on the floor, so you don't know, fall down. That's a lot of falling down, no Little humor, but it's sad. Now, now robots are making cars. That's right. Next, robots will be making robots. That's right. So, what will you be doing? See? They're setting it up That's right. to get, eliminate us. Okay, I'm just, I'm just saying. Now, look at the wealth gap, the ratio of the white to black. We first, back in 1984, we had one twelfth of that wealth. It was getting a little better, one ten, one ten, one ten, one seven. They done that at one eleven, one nineteen. White folks own nineteen, on average, nineteen times more wealth than we do. But we own is debt. That's what we own, not wealth. Dead. 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 Wealth is, is, is after your expenses and your debt was left is your wealth. Right. We ain't got no, and see what happened with the crash in 2009, white folks went down a little bit, okay, by like 20 million. We went, we, 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 I mean 20,000, we, we, we broke down in half. We lost over half our wealth with the financial credit crisis in 2009. So, if you want to say, you want to follow white folks, uh, what direction are, they, are you going in relation to them? I mean, you should be trying to close a gap, right? But you follow them, the gap is getting, okay? You got to cut across the field sometime. You can't play by his rules no more. You got to realize, hey man, if I play by your rules, I ain't going to never catch up. That's right. I'm going to cut across the field. I mean, if I'm running, and, 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 and you, it's a 440, and you got a hundred yard head start on me. And I'm running, and I'm saying I ain't catching up at all. I'm going to cut across the field. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to run behind you. Right. You got a head start, man. You cheated. The man that cheated, you cheated me. So I'm not going to stay and play, play the rules right. by your right. rules. Right. I'm going to cut across the field. Well, he gonna disqualify you. Well, hell, I'm gonna lose anyway. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> come, come, feel. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to get the pleasure of being in it. No, man, it don't count. I don't care. I still beat him. <laughs> but you cheat. That's, that's what y'all do all the time. So what? That's, right. that's what y'all do all the time. Y'all always cheat. All the time. Louis Alcindor, come out of college. No more dunking. Yeah. Louis Alcindor, 1974, come out of college. No more dunking. 
And what 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 else said no to change his name? Right, right. Scott Hook. Scott. Can we look at it? Still got it. Still got it. Still got it. Still got it. We about to say that. The Albalite Hummer warned us to be 100 percent inflation. He warned us. Now let me show you the reality of it. From 1974 to, 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 to 2016, it's been 1,000% inflation. Wow. On vehicle. 1,000%. In 1974, a pickup truck went for $3,560. Now a pickup truck is. 41. 41, where's it at? On the, on the 43. 41,000. Yeah. So you subtract that and divide it, 356 into that, you get 10.57 times 100. 1,057% increase of 25% per year on a vehicle. Is your income going up? Is your, is your wages going up by 25% per year? Yes, sir. What's your wages going to go away? What, 1%, 2%? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Raise? 2%, right? Maybe. 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 Is you going to ever catch up? No. Inflation at 25%? And here's the trick. They don't include the price of vehicles on fuel and food in the CPI, consumer price index. So, well, let me, let, me, let me rephrase it. They do have the price of vehicles in there, okay? But this is how they do it. They take the base price. The new vehicles got computers, they got cameras, they got all types of gadgets. They got seats that you can heat, that you can move around. They strip all that out and don't include it in the price of the car. So that it doesn't seem like the car's price is going up, but you can't get one without that right. stuff. Right. Right. You got to pay extra to get rolled up windows. You know that? You got to pay extra to get rolled up windows. Because they all come with push button windows. You got to pay, now I went and looked at a truck, trying to get one. I had to pay extra for rolling windows. But they charged me for, the, for, for, for all that fancy stuff, but if you don't get it, they're going to still charge you for it. So that's how they hide the inflation. And we almost finished. This here is a, is a medium yearly wages from 1940 to 2008. Here is a car. See how that's you and up right there? Here's your wages, and here's the car. Over here, your wages are right here, the dollar line, that's the wages, that's the car, and that's the house. How are you going to catch up? Hmm? You can't catch up, man. No, not like that. You've been playing. Now look at it. This is, and the reason you're being fake is that 35 to 4% of everything that you buy goes to interest to the bank. Here's what a a a a a a hundred dollars a six percent interest for a hundred years goes to thirty five thousand dollars in a hundred years to the six percent interest. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars is six percent interest compounded yearly, annually, and a hundred years is thirty five thousand dollars. You pay in the bank for nothing. Now look, I sh I did this to show you this graph. Now don't these graphs look like that? Don't look like that. Huh? Don't like that? Same time with slopes, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is uh, bread, gas, and a Hershey bar. Mm -hmm. That's how they've jumped up from 1930 to now. And the Hershey bar is so slick mm -hmm. that you can cut yourself and it made it so thin. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the older folks, we know when Hershey bars have a little, yeah. little thickness to it, right? Yeah. Hershey bar can cut, you gotta be careful when you bite on the Hershey bar, you might cut your tongue. <laughs> that's so thin. Mm -hmm. But that's what it, you're never gonna catch up. And food and fuel is not included in the, in the consumer price index. So I don't wanna say no inflation. My food bill is going up, and the fuel bill is going up, but they don't include it. Okay? So, Moral of the story, support Muhammad's economic blueprint. That's right. That's the moral of this whole story. Yes, sir. Okay.
support the three economic program Muhammad Farms. That's right. Go to my uh, Facebook page, nymway.com, Muhammad Farms. Mr. Farrakhan is not an anti semite. Right, that's right. Go and, and study the time what means, must be done on the internet, on YouTube. 52 week series, the time of what must be done. Everything you need to know about what's going on today, right. you'll find in that series. That's right. Yes, Mr. Farrakhan got in a fight with the Jews. The Jews attacked Farrakhan first because they said, talking about Jesse Jackson in 1984, leave him alone. We can, we can stand to lose an election, but, but we cannot stand to lose our brother. And that's what they call him, the Black Hitler. Mm. Okay? The ADL. And been fighting the Mr. Farrakhan ever since. They threw the first punches. So we coming out swinging, and we ain't, and we ain't holding no punches. <clears throat> no good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. <clears throat> Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from the thorn bushes or grapes from briars. A good man brings good things out of the goods stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So don't tell me nothing myth about myth. Look at his fruit. Look at Brother Aaron. Look at little Brother Aaron. Look at me. Look at Tony. Look at us. Look at my wife. Look at the sister. Is this luck something from an evil man? Come on, man. That's right. Come on. You know that he had to be a good man. He produces good fruit. That's right. That's right. Now, I'm ending you on this part right here. Don't tell me nothing about Farrakhan. Do you, do you know what it is? I know you don't. That's for yes. Bila Shabazz. Yes. Yes. Oh, Malcolm X. Malcolm X's daughter. Right. And in January of 1995, she was caught in a, in, a, in a trap conspiring to assassinate Mr. Farrakhan. You see this man right here? That's Kunstler, William Kunstler. William Kunstler was a lawyer who had the real five names of those who killed Malcolm. That's right. And he was trying to get a retrial. And the judge, they would not do it. He's the one who defended her. Who do you think paid him? Come on, man. Mm. Come on. Mm. Wow. Mm. Come now, on. <laughs> this is me and Man Mars. Who's that right there? Betty. Betty Shabazz. Huh? Betty Shabazz. That's Betty Shabazz speaking of the me and Man Mars. That's right. Come on. Shut up about Farrakhan. That's right. Shut up about Farrakhan and have something to do with now. Come on, now. Right. Shut up Farquhar. and bear witness that Farrakhan is the Jesus in our midst. What I mean by that? Come on, now. What I mean by that? If she had sent a hitman against me, mm -hmm. and she had gotten caught, you know what I would have said? <laughs> oh, praise it due to Allah. Right. Mm -hmm. Allah took care of my enemy. Right, right. Farrakhan didn't do that. Mm -hmm. He went to her aid. Mm -hmm. And Betty Shabazz was so impressed with that that she spoke at the man man. So all you baffle lovers, you want to talk a bunch of smack? Get up on that. That's right. Get up on that. That's right. That's my man right there. That's, That's Jesus right. in person. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. Only he, Jesus, can do something like that. I'm sorry. That's right. I, I, can't nobody do that. Mm. Somebody send a hitman out to you. Mm. Come on, they get caught. You gonna pay for the? You gonna pay the lawyer to get her off? Mm. Uh, damn. Come on now. Love. That's love, brother. Yes, it is. That's right. That's deep love. That's, that's, that's unhuman love. That's why I say he's the next human. That's not human to do that. Don't make no sense, man. What? But that's what he does. All the time. He's supernatural, man. And he's trying to get us to follow along. That's right. So this October 15th, be ready. And you go to Facebook, Mr. Lewis Farrakhan, to keep up with him. But October 15th in New York. New, New Jersey, separation of death. We will have it right here on broadcast. That's right. Right? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Right here on broadcast. That's right. Come see the all of Mr. Lewis Farrakhan, separation or death. Yeah. Thank you very much. I salute you.
you have any questions? Anybody got any questions? If I can't answer the questions, I get to Brother Aaron. <laughs> if he can't answer the questions, we'll send up to the minister. Yes, sir. Can you define a computer and consumer price index? Oh. Okay, consumer price index, they take, let's say, a, 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 a bundle of goods that in one year, let's say the bundle of goods cost $10. And then the next year, the bundle of goods cost $10.10. And they do the mathematical and say that it went up by $0.10, cent, and $0.10 cent is a certain percentage of $10. So that would be 1% increase. Because 1% of $10 would be $0.10. Cent. So that means that would be a 1% increase in the consumer price index if that bundle of goods has cost $10 one year, the next year it cost $10.10, cent, then that meant that it went up by 1%. That's the consumer price index. And it is used, the Federal Reserve uses that figure to determine how to increase or lower interest rates. Because you see, the interest rate is a great determiner of the value of everything. So if they want to slow the, the consumer price index, they want to slow the, the rise in prices up, they increase the interest rates, which will choke everybody off. Because mm -hmm. everybody got to borrow money to run their businesses and then to borrow mm -hmm. for you to buy the stuff. So it's going to choke off and the price is going to lower. The demand will be cut back because of the interest. Okay, So that's what they use. But when they're not using everything in it, then people don't understand, well, how come I'm, I'm not being able to take care of my family? Then we start fighting one another in the, in the household about who ain't doing what, and we're being played. Mm -hmm. So does that help you? Does that help yes, you? Sir. Question? Thank okay. you. Thank you. Any other question? Yes, sir. So, like, That's fine. Um, are you familiar with uh, FEMA actually putting out advertisements in other cities asking people who want to come down for relief efforts down in Houston, Texas, and elsewhere, not even paying these people that are coming down in these areas, and in fact, are leaving them desolate without even having transportation to get back to their homes? Wow. No, I didn't know that. Uh, there's a video circulating now uh, down in Houston where uh, there are groups of, I mean, hundreds of black people stuck out in the Target parking lot, and they were even told you can't even sleep on the parking lot, go over where the Porta John's at, and put all your belongings there. They can't even get back home. So if, 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 I just wanted to ask you if you were familiar with that, and on top of that, um, how is that related to us, for some of those who don't know, um, being led astray by the same slave trade? Well, you know, you've answered the question. They, they went out there based on the FEMA, the government, telling them, come out here, we're going to pay you. They get out there, they don't pay them to treat them like a dog. In fact, they ain't got no money. It's $155 billion it's going to take to rebuild Houston. They ain't got the money. And the Republicans don't even want to put forth the money. This country is bankrupt. Right. And, uh, and, and they're keeping the stock market going up as a bubble so that we don't realize it's time to run. It's time to go for self. They ain't got no money. But we still believe it in them. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a shame. But we need to take that and do for self. But you can't do for yourself if you don't believe in self. If you believe the white man is still God, you'll go down with him. It's like a dog go down with his master. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions? Well, thank you all so much for putting up with me. It's been a pleasure. I hope you all got something out of it because I had a lot of fun.